Well, look who it is, Skinny Suede. Hey, what the heck? Why don't you curl some dumbbells or bench some presses and get a girlfriend or something, loser? Oh, I'm gonna show him. Well, 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 look who it is again, Skinny Sway. Dude, what in the world are you doing? Okay, let's just act like that never happened and neither do any of us know of each other, okay? Freaking weird. What's going on everyone? It's Asil Suede. In this video, I'm going to be taking you all through a full day of eating when I was skinny. So many years ago when I first started my fitness journey as a teenager, I looked like this. I was skinny. Okay, actually I was skinny fat. I just didn't look good at all. So in this video, I'm going to be taking you all through a blast in the past and we're going to be following Skinny Suede's diet plan, which was super unhealthy at the time, but I thought I was actually going to see results eating this way. So not only am I going to show you all my old diet plan, but I'm also going to be showing Share with you all the best tips on how to build muscle throughout every single meal so you guys don't make the same mistakes that I did when I first started so with that being said guys this diet plan is going to consist of three meals coming from only 1500 calories so I just want to share with you all how ineffective it was and how you could avoid these same mistakes okay guys so look if you're new to my YouTube channel you're just stumbling upon this video help skinny suede out join the family and hit the notification or hit the subscribe button and also hit that notification bell so you know when I upload new YouTube videos I'd love to have you be a part of the suede squad and drop a like on this video if you are feeling very generous and really enjoy the content already so with all that being said let's get in the kitchen and we're gonna get started with the video So I just got done preparing meal number one, which is going to be breakfast. Now the best way to describe this would be depression on a plate. But before I show you all of the meals in today's diet, along with exactly what's included in them, I'm going to be giving you one huge tip on how to build muscle before each and every meal. And this is the kind of tips that I really wish that I knew way back then when I was eating this kind of stuff. But tip number one is going to be to figure out your eating schedule. So I used to think that I had to eat breakfast to build muscle. And if I miss breakfast, then all of my gains would disappear. So make sure you just figure out what works best for you. Like for me personally, I don't even eat breakfast anymore. I practice something called intermittent fasting and I still will be able to build muscle even if I wanted to, because at the end of the day, what you should be focusing on is not breakfast itself. It's the total amount of calories you are intaking daily. So don't focus so much on the meal frequency or don't focus so much on meal timing. Just focus on hitting that target calorie goal by the end of the day in order to build muscle. But anyways, guys, with all that being said, we have got the depression on a plate, which is gonna consist of cooked zucchini, mushrooms, and onions with eight egg whites, so a whole lot of protein here, minimal amounts of carbs. Now, speaking about the carbohydrates, we do have 60 grams of oatmeal. Now, this is not just any regular oatmeal. Well, it is regular oatmeal. It's literally just plain oatmeal, which makes it mind-blowingly, shockingly disgusting because you have never tasted anything grosser than just plain old oatmeal. Don't ever eat your oatmeal plain, just with water. So that's exactly what I have, okay? Anyways, let's just dig in. I'm not too excited. Yeah, you know, depression on a plate. Sounds about right. So you might be wondering, seal, why don't you add some type of condiment to this? Like, heck, some type of hot sauce or, hell, even some salt. Well, guess what? The old me would have thought that that would absolutely destroy any kind of progress. Seriously, any kind of salt added to your meals or any kind of zero-calorie condiments like hot sauce. I thought that was detrimental, which is ridiculous, okay? That is not the case. Feel free to use some condiments that you enjoy that are low-calorie, you know. Make sure you're drinking enough water for that sodium and you're going to be fine, believe me. 
<laughs> okay, now this is where it gets really scary. So 60 grams of oatmeal cooked in only water. Nothing else included. Ah, this is literally torture. It's like sludge, but cement at the same time. Okay, that was absolutely horrible. When I figured it all out, I vouched that I would never eat plain oatmeal ever again. But look guys, how I would have done this meal differently now is that first of all, I would have saved it for later in the day after I broke my fast, but I would have broken my fast with this kind of meal. However, I just would have added a little bit more flavor to the egg whites, maybe even some more like vegetables to flavor them up. I uh, made it like an omelet, added some hot sauce, etc. And then I also would have added a whole lot to the oatmeal. I would have put some like zero calorie sweeteners, some cinnamon, uh, some sea salt along with some powdered peanut butter, heck even some protein powder to bump up the protein a little bit and also add in some more carbohydrates like a cup of oatmeal or heck a cup and a half of oatmeal. Just all depends on my current calorie intake. But again, just things to flavor this up. I used to think that because this is the standard bodybuilding breakfast meal, I was gonna put on muscle, but it does not work that way. So anyways guys, that's meal number one. Let's move on to the second meal, which is gonna be later in the day for lunch. So I just got done preparing meal number two, which is going to be my pre-workout meal. And of course, what did I do way back in the day when I had no idea what I was doing? Make a salad. So here we have 10 ounces of cooked boneless skinless chicken breast with three cups of mixed salad along with one tomato on top. So hardly any carbs here, which brings me to tip number two on how to build muscle, which is don't be afraid of carbs. So way back in the day when I first started my fitness journey, I thought whether my goal was to lose fat or build muscle, carbs were the enemy. I had to avoid them at all costs if I wanted to get a great body, which is a mindless way of thinking when it comes to carbohydrates. So look guys, at the end of the day, I'm gonna make this plain and simple for you. There's two different ways to structure your diet, okay? You're either going to be following a higher carb and lower fat diet, or you can choose to follow a higher fat and lower carb diet. So at the end of the day, that's what really matters. Just choose what works best for your own body and how you operate and function on a daily basis when it comes to energy levels and you're going to be just fine. Focus on the total calories. Like I said, for tip number one, you don't have to eat 10 ounces of plain grilled chicken with plain salad and tomatoes. Again, there's no salt, no seasonings, no condiments. This is literally torture. Oh, that is absolute torture. <laughs> Like, come on, man. Zero condiments? Really? Do I look like the rock to you? It's hot sauce, yeah. soy sauce, no. That's the way I eat it. <laughs> See, that's a funny thing. I used to look at interviews of Dwayne Johnson mentioning that he doesn't season his foods or put any condiments with his meals. And I think I'd have to do that to put on muscle like The Rock. But it doesn't work that way, okay? Trust me, they're using condiments. <laughs> okay, just look at how depressingly plain that is. <sighs> Okay, that is the least satisfying salad that I have ever had. And it's funny to think that I used to literally eat this every single day. I think I was gonna get some serious results. But look, I'm gonna tell you all how I would structure this meal now if I were to enjoy an actual good meal with a salad included. So I would have had obviously the greens and lots of chicken breast for the protein along with tomatoes, more vegetables I personally would enjoy. And then I would also have included some hard boiled eggs for some extra fats along with some light balsamic vinaigrette, which would really help the taste obviously with some salt and pepper and some lemon, some vinegar, etc. because condiments are not the enemy. Then I would also on the side had some mixed fruit for some carbohydrates to make it a balanced meal worth of carbohydrates, proteins, and fats because that's important. So anyways, that is going to be meal number two. Again, the pre-workout meal. I'm going to head to the gym. We're going to start training and also make sure you stick around because I have a huge tip when it comes to building muscle on what you're going to need to take note of if you're looking to pack on lean muscle mass with your workouts in the gym. So don't miss that. See you guys at the gym.
So I'm currently at the gym hitting my chest and arms a workout and I figured I'd stop in between my workout just to share with you all tip number three on how to build muscle, which is extremely important. But tip number three is going to be to weight lift heavy with progression. So you wanna ditch that 15 to 20 rep range and stick to around six to 12 reps on a majority of your exercises and simply keep on adding more weight to the bar or do an extra rep or two every single weight training session. This is gonna allow you to pack on lean muscle mass, which is exactly what your body needs to completely transform visually. But anyways, as for those of you that are wondering, I am following my five days per week workout plan in my 12 week physique program. So I'll link it first thing in the description box down below. It is currently 30% off, so definitely doesn't hurt to check it out. But anyways, let's get back to training. So I'm sitting down to meal number three, which is gonna be the post-workout meal, along with the last meal of the day. So I'm sure a few of you may have noticed that it's still light outside, and that's because it's just about 7.30 p.m. right now. And that's because way back in the day, I used to think that any kind of food I would've consumed past 8 p.m. would've been stored as body fat, which couldn't be the furthest thing from the truth. So what's stored as body fat is consuming a lot more calories than you're burning a few days out of the week on a week-by-week -week basis. This this is what's gonna cause you to gain body fat, not eating past 8 p.m., okay? As long as your total caloric intake goal is on point towards your fitness goals, whether that be gaining a little bit of lean muscle or losing some body fat, you're gonna be fine no matter what time your last meal of the day is. So anyways, guys, this is gonna consist of 10 more ounces of cooked boneless, skinless chicken breast. We also have a cup of brown rice to the side. And here was like my fancy looking forward to meal back in the day. I know that's crazy, brown rice and chicken, but I literally really look forward to this because it actually had carbs, right? So a cup of brown rice, that was a ton of carbs for me back in the day, which is crazy to think about nowadays. Like how depressing is that? This is beyond bro, seriously, or at least it's as bro as it gets. Man, one thing I cannot get over is that how I didn't use any kind of condiments. It's just as bland as bland will ever get. So something important to take note of that I'm looking back at when I first started my fitness journey, I used to think that I could only eat brown rice if I chose to eat rice for a meal. And I want you to make sure that you all know that you don't have to just stick to brown rice. It's not going to provide for more gains. You can enjoy white rice as well, okay? Just focus on your carb intake for the day, not the specifics of brown rice or white rice. Okay, I cannot believe that I actually used to look forward to this meal each and every single day. Like, you should not look at brown rice and chicken breast and think of it as if it tastes like filet mignon and mashed potatoes. That's just, that's not right. So the total macros and calories in my full day of eating when I was skinny consisted of 1,511 calories coming from 107 grams of carbs, 27 grams of fat, and 198 grams of protein. And this leads me to my last and final tip here, okay, which is gonna be a bonus tip for those of you that are staying towards the end of the video. Listen up here because this tip is going to hit home for so many of you all. But tip number four is going to be to feed yourself. Don't fool yourself. So when you're looking into getting into the best shape possible, your mind is going to play so many games with you. So some days it's going to tell you to drastically under eat just to lose a few extra pounds of body fat that week. Or other days it's going to tell you to drastically overeat and it's okay because you're going to put on muscle quicker or gain strength faster in the gym. You do not want to do this. Do not listen to your mind at times. It's going to fool you. You want to nourish your body and feed yourself 
yourself. So give yourself the right amount of calories and specific macros for your body's individual needs and play the long game. I promise you're going to thank yourself for it. You're not gonna be on that fitness hamster wheel that 90% of people are. But anyways, guys, I really hope you found this video entertaining, even educational or helpful in any sort of way. If you did, just please smash the like button right now. Would appreciate it. And I'll tell you what, after you've been the video like, let me know in the comment section down below if you want me to attempt my college bodybuilding diet plan back in the day when I was a university student. I think that would make for an epic video. So just let me know in the comments after you've done the video like. And of course, I would truly appreciate your help into getting to a quarter of a million subscribers, which is crazy. So hit the subscribe button right now. I would generally appreciate it and hit that notification bell so you're part of the family, aka the Suede Squad, and you know every single time I upload a new YouTube video. But thank you so much for watching, guys. If you do need my personal help with meal plans, or workout plans, or programs, just check out all the links in the description box down below. I'd love to help you, and I can't wait to see every single one of you in the next video.